Mastering, I forgot, a simple phrase with big implications. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a common but powerful phrase in English, I forgot. Understanding this phrase is crucial not only for its literal meaning but also for its cultural and contextual implications. So, let's unravel the mystery behind these two words and help you use them effectively in your English conversations. I forgot, is a simple phrase used to express that someone has failed to remember something. It's the past tense form of, I forget. This can refer to forgetting facts, tasks, or even social obligations. It's a straightforward admission of a lapse in memory. Examples in everyday conversations. 1. I forgot your name, when you can't recall someone's name. 2. I forgot to lock the door, referring to an overlooked task. Understanding the phrase, I forgot, goes beyond its dictionary meaning. In different contexts, it can have varied implications. Casual versus serious situations. Casual. I forgot to bring the snacks. This might be easily forgiven. Serious, I forgot our anniversary. This could be seen as negligent or hurtful. Apologies and excuses. Often, I forgot, is used as an apology or an excuse. How it's received depends on the situation and the relationship between the people involved. To sound more like a native speaker, you can add details or use variations of the phrase. Adding details. Instead of just saying, I forgot, explain what led to the forgetfulness. E.g., I forgot because I've been really busy lately. Variations. It slipped my mind. A softer, more polite way to say, I forgot. I completely forgot. Indicates a total lapse in memory. In professional settings, using, I forgot, requires tact. It's often better to offer a solution along with the admission of forgetfulness. Example, not ideal, I forgot about the meeting. Better, I forgot about the meeting, but I've reviewed the minutes and I'm up to speed now. I forgot, is a simple phrase with layers of meaning, depending on the context. Whether you're using it in everyday conversation, socially, or professionally, remember the power of this small phrase. We hope this video helps you use, I forgot, more effectively and understand its nuances in English. Keep practicing, and don't forget to enjoy your language learning journey.